Hello. Yes, Hello. Can you, yes, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, all right. Yes, how are you? Um. Are you okay now? <laughs> yes. Are you good? No. Oh, not yet? <laughs> okay. But a little bit, right? A little bit. Yes. Yes. Did you eat dinner already? Yes. Yes. What do you have for dinner? Mm, um, I ate mm, um, rice. Rice, okay. Eating tofu and, and, and mm, eat chicken. Yes. Okay, I think that's a good, <laughs> yeah, good thing for your dinner. Okay. All right. Anyways, um, today did you rest? Did you rest today? Um. Yes. Okay, that's better. All right. So you need more rest so you could fully recover. Okay, that's very important. Okay. Well, anyways, today we are going to continue to study your book. All right. So let me share it with you. Please wait. Okay, there you go. Can you see your book? It's this one. Yes. Okay. Can yeah. you see it? All right. Is it too small or are the text too small or is it just enough? Okay. All right. So we are going to read and circle the correct answer of the sentence. Okay. I'm going to read and you just choose the answers. Okay. 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 So number one, grandpa had to be careful because... Mm -hmm. Okay, what should be the correct answer? Oh, there were lots of dangerous criminals. Okay. <laughs> yes. How about number two? He didn't tell his wife anything because... Okay. Please read, he had to keep things secret. He had to keep things secret. Good job. And he had to wash his uniform every, every day. <laughs> okay. And Ben can't be a police officer because... He is or he is too small. <laughs> All right. Okay, so well, everything that you've answered are correct. It is actually, um, it does make sense of the sentence. Okay, very good. All right, now let's proceed to uh, the grammar. Okay, so I want you to read the sentences here. Okay, we had we had to be really we had to be really really careful. Hmm. We had to keep everything secret. We had to wear a uniform. We had to wash our uniform any week. Every week, yes, every week. Okay. All right, so as you can see here, mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much. So as you can see, we have um, in the sentence, we have highlighted words. So highlighted words such as had plus to be. 
Another one is had to keep, had plus wear, had plus wash. Okay, these are the verbs, okay? Here, okay. Plus the word had, which is the past tense of have, right? Yes, so it happened already. <coughs> Sorry, we had to be really careful. We had to keep everything secret. So all these things in the sentences are all in the past. Okay, so, well, can you think of any sentences that um, you will use had mm -hmm, plus the verb in it? Yes, uh, just make a short sentence. <laughs> just like what's in the um, examples. You can use I had, he had, or they had anything. I had to care for um, about the COVID. Okay, I'm sorry, can you please repeat again? I had to. I had to care for um, because. Um, uh, the COVID. Because of the COVID, yes. Okay, so yes, actually your sentence is correct. You just lack the word be, okay? So you say, I had to be careful because of the COVID. Okay, so please read the sentence. Okay, yes, can you see that? Mm -hmm. I had to be careful. I had to be careful because of the COVID. Exactly. Okay. So you use had plus to be. All right. So which is correct. Okay. So I guess you already know how to use this word in a sentence, right? Any questions? No. Mm, no. All right. Good. Okay, so let's proceed to uh, the next activity. Uh, we have look at the pictures. This is Ben's grandpa went to police camp for six months. Okay, let's try to know what did he have to do? Okay, for example, he had to do the washing up. Okay, so washing up, that's the first picture. He had to do washing up. What about number two? He had to. He had to. He had to clean the glass. Okay, clean the glass. Okay, yes, or you can also say he had to wipe the glass. Mm -hmm. Yes, and number three is he had to. Yeah, <coughs> sweep the floor. Okay, sweep the floor. Okay, how about number four? He had to. He had to cook. Okay, he had to cook food, right? He had to cook yes. food. Number five. He had to feed the dogs. He had to feed the dog. Okay, that's correct. And lastly, He had to ride the, the dog. Okay, ride or he had to walk? Walk? 
Yes. All right. So he had to walk the dog. Yes. All right. So, yes, these are your sentences. Okay. So, in as you have noticed, we use had to. Okay. So, that's the topic today. Had to. The use of had to in a sentence. Okay. So, when do we use had to again? When do you use had to? When? When the action is done in the past, okay? Yes. Okay. All right, so don't forget that one. Okay, so now this time, let's go to, okay, the story about the explorers. And the title is The Mysterious Age. Oh, mm, let's find out why is it Mysterious Age, okay? So, yes, you'll be Grandpa, and I will be Lucy, and you'll be Ben, okay? Okay. All right, so let's begin. The mysterious age starts robbing jaguars. Jewelries. Jaguars. Again, jewelries. Jaguars. All right. He used to steal necklaces, bracelets, and watches. The question was it a shop in London which was safe. His next plans, plans were cleverer. He used the famous paintings in art courts of art in the museums all over the world. Then he stole the queen's crown. The story was in all, all the papers. I had to find this man quickly. He went to, he went to Paris and stole the top of the F the tower too. What? What? Grandpa, how did you know it was the same man? He used to leave us the know. It's always the same symbol on it. The letter H. Did you catch him? No. We almost caught him once. But he... I'm sorry. But he escaped. Okay, Ben. It was this great story. But I don't understand. What's the connection... To the waiter at the restaurant. Ah, uh, the waiter has wearing a ring with the letter H, the same H, and was on the notes that the mysterious H used to leave. Wow. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yeah, so that is the story of the mysterious age. Okay, so grandpa in the last sentence said that the waiter was wearing the ring with the letter H. Do you think that is the um the thief? <laughs> or that was the thief? Mm. Who do you think is the thief in the story? That grandpa said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't know yet, right? We don't know yet. But um, here, since grandpa said the waiter was wearing uh, a ring with the letter H. And it says the same H that was on the notes. Okay, so that's possible that the waiter is also the thief. <laughs> okay, so do you have any questions about this story? 
Um, no. Okay, so it means you understand. Now let's try our test, okay? If you understand well the story. So let's write T if it's true or F if it's false. Okay, so let's begin in number one. Okay, please read it. The mysteries eat rob jewelries. The mysteries Asians from jewelries all over London. Is it true or false? Ooh. True. Okay. Number two. The earlier crop placed in England. False. False. Okay. And she stole the queen's ring. False. False. Number four. The mysterious age with the parties. True. True. He we always leave left the police in the left the police in the true true and six the waiter in the restaurant brought me had a name on his ring false false okay so Yes, as I see here, um, you've answered everything correctly. So it means to say that you understand the story. Okay, now let's try to, okay, let's keep that one. Uh, read this sentence. Here, Martha. Mar Martha, the farmer, doing our Drawing on her horse in cart. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So as you can see here, the highlighted words are the sounds. Okay. The phonic sounds are. Okay. Are. So we say Martha, farmers, art, drawing, horse, cart. Yes. So as you can see, everything there has the sound of R. Yes. Okay, so uh, what can you say about the picture? Hmm. Mm. Where is Martha there and what is she doing? Mm. Martha is sitting next to the cart and she's drawing the cart. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's making art or doing art. Yeah, okay. And look at the horse. He also or she also uh, draw on her horse, right? Look at this. Yes, okay. All right, so now let's go to the story okay so we are going to look at the pictures and find someone who looks happy scared sad and angry do you know all these words mm, i know all. okay so you have to find these pictures in the story okay so here are the pictures let's find out that later Okay, so first, let's read the story about Yatin and the orange tree. Okay, so for you not to um, make it longer to read, I will help you, okay? So I'll say stop if, um, yes, if it's my time to read, okay? Mm, okay. Okay, so please begin, Yatin. The thin in red says under the orange tree, Lewis Grasson. He stood up and picked an orange from the tree. He cut it into two pieces and gave half of it to his Grasson to eat. He watched the little boy eat. His fruit is mild. 
Did I ever tell you my story about the screen? Captain asked. No, his grandson said. Well, let me tell you. And Jackson began his story. It was a, a sunny day. I was a little boy like you, and I sat under an orange tree to keep cool from the sun. I looked up and saw a big squishy orange. I knew what got wrong because <coughs> our tree, but I was so thirsty. I picked the fruit and ate it. It was delicious. I looked back at the tree and picked another, and I felt a big hand on my shoulder. I looked around and saw the most frightening man in the village. He was Gotham Can. Khan. Can. The meanest farmer and an enemy of all our children. I'm sorry, I said. It's just an orange. A can. Didn't want to listen. He told me to wait and let his dog to watch me. Let's see what the police officer has to say. He said, You stay here. I'm going to get him. I didn't know what to do. But the police officer was coming. I was in trouble. I couldn't go anywhere. I scooped that dog there. I thought. I thought among my parents. They would be angry. I talked about the oranges. It got bad to take them. I knew it was wrong, but they were so delicious. And God then can't be sure. He had a palace officer with him. This is the boy. He point at me. He stole my oranges. Is it true? The police officer he asked. Yes, it is. I said. I know it goes wrong. I had. It is so hot in the oranges. Are so juicy. The police officer looked at Gotham Khan. Do you really want me to take this food to the police station? He asked. The boy is sorry. Okay, all right, so let's stop there. Okay, I'm going to read. Okay, so just listen. Uh, Gautam Khan looked at him. He wasn't so angry. Well, he said, the boy could work for me for the rest of the day. What do you think? The police officer asked me. Yes, I said, of course. I worked all day for Gautam Khan. I was tired, but I wasn't sad. At the end of the day, the farmer came to me. He was happy now. Thank you, he said. Then he gave me a little bag. In this bag, there are some orange tree seeds, he said. Plant them and you will never again have to make 
fruit or to take fruit from other people's trees. Then he told me to go home. Yatin Indra looked at his grandson. His story was finished. He pointed up at the orange tree behind them. And this, my dear, is a tree which grew out of seeds. Every time I eat an orange fruit from it, I think about Gautam Khan and the lesson that I learned. Okay, so that is the end of the story about Yatin and the orange tree. Okay, so do you like the story? Yes. Yes. What do you think is the lesson of this story? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is it, is it good to steal other people's things? No, no, yes. So instead of stealing, you should ask them politely or kindly. Yes, if you want something, okay? Yes, all right. So that is the story and the lesson of this story. Okay, so let's find out um, who is the person that looks happy. Okay. Who is the person that looks happy in the picture? Um, is Yatin in girl. Okay. Yatin and his grandson. grandson. Okay, what else? Yes, they are happy. And how about who is or who was scared? <laughs> who was scared in this story? Or in the picture? Mm -hmm. Who was scared? Mm -hmm. It was. Who's mm. this? This boy. Who's this boy? Mm. Yeah, it is. Yatin, right? When he was yeah. young. Mm -hmm. So he yeah. was the one who was scared. How about who was sad? Who was sad? <laughs> who was sad in this story? Is <clears throat> me. Is Jatin in picture three? Yes, that's exactly right. And who was angry? Mm. Yes. Who's this? Who was this? Is the man who's angry? This was Khan. Exactly. Okay, so. All right, why do you think he's angry to Yatin? Because? Because he, because he sees Yatin's his, his orange. Yes, he picked the fruit and ate it. Yes, without asking any permission to Gautam Khan. Okay, that's the reason why. All right, so, okay, so now this time, okay, I guess we're almost time. So I hope you will remember the story that we had today so we could also answer the questions in our next class, okay? Okay, all right. Anyways, thank you and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.